gotta get that. Not a terrible Gertie fight, and the hit points. That rotten meat. All right. Conservative says, I wrote Steam an angry letter about declaring the war on Christmas. Very fitting for your Twitch name, sir. Very fitting. How many of y'all chilling uh, on the infinite couch play Isaac yourselves? I always like to ask because I know I have a lot of viewers who will watch whatever I stream. So I'm always curious which of the games y'all actually play and which you actually just like to watch. You little voyeurs, you. Wow. Ah. Oh. Bit of a tricky room. I gotta get some fucking health, man. I'm so bad. Once I get my hit avoidance back, I'll be a lot better off. I'm just so scrubbed here right now. I haven't played in literally forever. <laughs> the shit's on the bombs. Ooh, just a suspicious pill on the ground. Take it. Nice, range up. Lovely. Well, that turned out pretty good. Can't complain there. Ooh, mom's pad. Doesn't mom's pad temporarily stun the entire room? Unlock the butter bean. Got a heart. Nice, nice. I'm fairly confident that uh, mom's pad fears or stuns the whole room, but I could be wrong. Conservative says I have a few hours, but I'm really bad at it. You're probably not as bad as me. Neil Wolf says I like to watch it, but playing it is weird. Alright. There's a lot of games I'm like that about. I feel ya. Pizza roll, always a pleasure. Welcome back. One day, I'm actually going to have some pizza rolls on deck when you show up, and it's going to be awesome. We're just kicking back here tonight on the OSHA, doing some Isaac runs, grinding up children, as the title says. Now this is a room That worm kind of reminded me of the Beetlejuice snake from the film Whoa Of all the things to take damage from in that room <laughs> The little fucker One heart for three coins and a key The key is actually worth Yo, that did way more than one heart. I forgot how low I was. Oh, shit. <laughs> it's cool. It's cool. It just means I have to be that much more of a champion. Those spikes do way more damage down here. Ah. 
Al tree. There we go. Dropping some hearts for me. Helping me hang in there. I appreciate it. I love the sound these make when they spit. It's like so adorable. It makes me not even really care when they do damage to me because I'm like, oh, you little. Fake says, Isaac is one of my favorite downtime games. Rebirth is even better in that regard because you can save a run and come back to it later. Which you couldn't do in the OG version. Yeah, I can't really recommend Rebirth enough. Hopefully it goes on some kind of mega deal. Uh, but it's absolutely worth. Damn it! Oh my god. I'm like embarrassing myself here now. Oh great. <laughs> I found pills. I think it just makes your face look fucked up for a room and that's it. Yeah, I, I think that's worth, so I should be able to bomb right here and get over there, right? Yeah, definitely. I don't really need to clear out the floor, but I kind of want to. Because you never know, you know? I already have a pretty nice build going on though, so there's not a ton of reason to, but fuck it. See what happens? Pride goeth before a fall. My damage with this build is like completely off the chain. The devil? Does the, the devil card transport me to a devil room? I also got a, I never got a confirm on what mom's pad does. If someone would be so kind to let me know. Pizza Roll says, I never saw the appeal of this game. The best way I can describe it is take original Zelda for NES gameplay, add in a really gross aesthetic and sense of humor, uh, a la like Ren and Stimpy or Boogerman for Sega Genesis, and add in roguelike elements and a high level of difficulty. And you basically got Isaac right there. Okay, so I was right with the mom's pad hype. I've got a ton of bombs, so I'll go ahead and bomb. But I'll do it on this side in case there's a secret room. Balls of steel, two soul hearts. I'm going to try the devil card on the boss room. see what happens it might transport me to a devil deal or it might do something to the boss we'll find out together ah the chub ah it gives me a uh, temporary I don't remember what the, the ability is but it really increases my damage for one room Nice. Not a devil deal after all.
A little chubby. <gasps> the crown. Ultimate Grand Supreme Pageant Boy. That's what I like to see. What a grumpy boy. Book of Belial. That's the book I was trying to think of. Book of Belial for one room. Exactly. Ah, Pizza Roll says the humor is a little too pedestrian, basically. I can totally understand that. Um, the game actually has a lot of, like, references to, like, biblical stuff and kind of highbrow, like, jokes in addition to the memes. But I could see not digging on the aesthetic. I personally like it, but I've always been, like, a Ren and Stimpy fan. I love Boogerman on SNES. I'm pretty pedestrian myself. Get on the spikes, duties. That's right, you get over there too. The hermit, I think that teleports you to the secret room. Not to the shop. Alright. Ooh, PhD is awesome. It guarantees you have good pills. Um, and it gives you a cool mask. Bam! What a fucked up looking Isaac, dude. Some post-apocalyptic hellish shit. So the hermit is a teleport to the shop. Nice. Oh, the teleporting babies. The addition of lots more invisible enemies in Rebirth is kind of cool and kind of bad at the same time. Secret room? No luck. My build is like off the train though. Like look at my fucking tears. This is ridiculous. Sometimes the RNG just carries the shit out of you. It's such a beautiful thing. And I have this magical power that I've displayed on the Osho before where if I want Isaac to do something for me, like the game, I just tell it and it does it. Is that a robot baby? Robo baby. So Robo baby is a companion that shoots lasers. Like the uh, technology upgrade. Dirty. Very dirty build going on here. Me Maria. Coined by stake 2014 in the Osho chat means games like Borderlands that have way too many fucking memes. I like it. Me Maria. That's exactly what it is. Pizza Roll says, you, Devo, you are a booger man. I'm not even sure what you mean by that. Gruntify says, despite sin spending hundreds of hours on this game and the original, he still has to look up items on the wiki. Truth. I think that's the sign of a quality rogue. Um, I've probably put, put thousands of hours into NetHack, and I still have to look shit up for NetHack. So, if you've put a lot of playtime in and you catch yourself still looking shit up, you're playing a solid rogue, in my opinion. Talk about some bastard wall spiders, holy fuck. Yo, this has to be a secret room though, right here. <laughs> that money. I'm rich, bitch. Oh, 
Oh shit, I didn't even notice that one over there. Ah! Getting annihilated by these guys. Good thing I have an absurd amount of health. Ow, fuck. That room tore me a new one. I am not used to those guys, it's been a while. Shit. Throwing it all away. Yo, give daddy these, alright. Alright, so this will cost the key and the bomb to get to the money. I don't really think it's worth. <laughs> wow, this is a really fortuitous fucking room. That could have been disastrous. That spike had been moving around, I would have been fucked. Whoa. Alright, so those guys are invulnerable. I've never encountered those before. Those skeleton heads, they bounce around and they're invulnerable until you kill the other enemies in the room. Ooh, dirty. Dirty room. Get him, Robo Baby. I'm really blessed to have a lot of health on this run because some of these rooms are absolutely handing me a new asshole. Did I? Why didn't I pick up this health back here? Is it like inaccessible? No, I just forgot it was there. Okay. <laughs> so I got a heart chilling down there. I'm actually good to go. Uh, I don't really need to clear the floor, but my build is good enough that I'm probably going to go ahead and do it. Retracting spikes is something that's new to Rebirth, I'm fairly sure. The guys are scumbags. Maybe I shouldn't clear the floor. <laughs> I gotta do it now. I'd be a coward if I didn't. Alright, there we go. The key level is absurd. Come on, little baby. Ooh, that's what I like. Oh, these guys are fuckers. Fortunately, they move in straight lines, so it makes life a little easier. Alright, cool. Time to descend. So this is a double boss apparently. Alright, mom's pad confirm fears the enemies on screen when you use it. Alright. So this boss has multiple forms, I see. I've never fought this boss before, so... Ouchie.
All right, not too bad. Even more hit points. Ah, unlocked Magdalene. Unlocked hella things, actually. Nice. Wow. That external heart, man. Uh, I'm gonna go grab that battery. Why not? Well, that boss was pretty cool. I liked how I had uh, two forms. That's a new rebirth thing as well. <laughs> Moose has it exactly right by saying that hack is jumping into the deep end. It was my first roguelike, but it shouldn't be yours. It's try something like Dungeon Crawl Stone Soup or some shit like that. There's also, yeah, like Dungeon Man's is apparently pretty good. Dungeon of Dreadmore, I think everyone's heard of that. There's some great roguelikes to try out without having to go balls deep into NetHack. But there is something about logging into alt.netheck.org and fucking playing in a putty terminal like a champion. So, you never know. Maybe you should just go for it instead. Don't take the cautious route. I don't know how the baby's damage is affected by my damage, but they seem related, so that's actually really nice. Nice. Total worth. Get in the corner, duty babies. The music in the depths is very fucked up. It makes me feel like I'm uh, watching like a Nightmare on Elm Street film, which I'm sure was the purpose. So. Kudos. Flush. I have no idea what this item does. Can someone inform me what flush does? It takes forever to recharge, so I bet it's badass. I'm gonna hang on to it. Flush is garbage? What does it do then, Sir Moose? The dead baby is happy, says conservative. Uh, it's because he's got that robot laser attached, I think. That's why he's happy. Ooh, toughies. So these guys, you can only hit the back of their head. Ouch. They're a bit tricky. Yeah, more than. Whoa. Getting roasted. I can cheaply kill that guy, right? No, I can go up here and get him. Yo, man, I got tons of bombs. There you go. Get that half a heart. <laughs> Whoa, problems.
I'm gonna die on this floor, pretty much guaranteed. Pretty much guaranteed death on this floor, gotta be real. I'm gonna try my damnedest. Gonna try my damnedest. Damn. A boy could get some health would be so good to go. Oh, fucky little bastard. Ooh, yo, see, I said. Isaac, give me some health, and now the game's complying. I told you I had this ability. Ooh, alright. <laughs> Truth is getting close. So I think the blue fires can actually only be put out with bombs. Fortunately we're good on bombs. Alright, um I'll shop. All right, looking a little bit better now. Okay. All right. The game's being pretty easy on me with some of these rooms. I might actually get a kill out of this run. Game's taking it soft on me. And I'm just gonna go ahead and, and fight my mama. Red mom, great. <laughs> Oh fuck man, I'm so blessed to have this much health, otherwise I'd be t toast right now. Isaac was cold. His mother, fueled with the desire to serve her god, was bearing down on Isaac. I will do as I am told, my lord. I love you above all else, Isaac's mother repeated to herself. This was the end of the line for Isaac. His mother was far too strong for him. But just as he accepted his fate, God intervened, sending an angel down from above to stop his mother's hand. And just like that, it was over.
Yay! Yay! Looky there. That's a beautiful time to take a little break here. Alright, alright, got my first mama kill on this rebirth file. That's awesome. Only took a couple tries, you know? <laughs> Hope you guys are having a laid back Friday. It is the O show. Uh, just basically chilling, doing some grinding of Isaac. I'm going to stand up and stretch, get some fresh air, take care of myself. I recommend you do something similar. Looks like, looks like it's all pretty much regulars here, but if you are new to the broadcast, there's a lot of good info down below the video. Be back with some more Binding of Isaac Rebirth runs in a couple minutes.
What is good? Thanks for being patient during the break. It is the Osho. It's kind of funny. You guys like curse me. It was actually a pretty nice night. And then y'all were joking around about how hot San Diego was. Now it's hot and humid as hell. Fuck. <laughs> We're doing our best here to kick back, take it easy, this Friday. Friday is my favorite day of the week. I always try to throw down a little. I was going to do some filthy, filthy squad play uh, with Armor 3 Overpock, but that's probably going to have to wait till tomorrow or possibly later, because it is a bear of a download. So instead, I decided to do some grinding of Isaac. Uh, I haven't really put much time into rebirth at all, so now I am. I uh, just got my first mom kill on this file. Hooray. Or matricide. And just gonna do some more Isaac runs. And I might fuck around with some of the characters I unlocked too. You know, have a good time. As always, appreciate you guys for spending some time on the infinite couch. Thanks for contributing to a positive atmosphere. <clears throat> so I unlocked Magdalene. And Lazarus. I don't know what Lazarus does. Maybe Lazarus has an extra life. Let's give Lazarus a try. Oh, he's an adorable little ginger. Look at him. Yeah, Lazarus, as I suspected, has an extra life. Just like in the Bible. And he starts with an unidentified pill. There we go. Proptosis. Now our Lazarus looks like a pug. This is that tier I got one time with the $3 bill where it like tapers down over time. I don't really like it. Like, for these guys, it really sucks. <laughs> mm. Could work out to my advantage, or it could be a horrible, horrible problem. I can't believe that worked out. Haha! <laughs> Yo, get him, little ginger Lazarus. You got this shit. Yo, let me stretch my fingers on my right hand here. They're kind of like stiff. Hold up. I apologize, guys. I gotta do little stretchies from time to time. Bomber ass, how's everybody doing tonight? Man, I'm doing pretty good. Um, I'm definitely ready to move, but I don't get to move until January. But I'm kind of like, you know, hanging in there as best I can. Kind of just tired of living in the city, so... Right now I'm like winding down my time until I can move. What's up, Sergio? Welcome back. Big ups to all the regulars. Welcome back, y'all. Man, we're just chilling tonight. Doing some laid-back Isaac runs. Alright, my hands feel better now. Ah. 
Ooh. I knew it was gonna take a little damage there. I should have moved faster earlier. But sorry, right, because I got a half a heart waiting anyway. By the way, if you're new to the broadcast, welcome. The Osho is extremely chill, so feel, feel free to call out if I like miss a special rock and shit like that. I don't really care about backseat gaming. Uh, there is a lot of good information down below the video, but mostly, man, I'm just happy that you're here on the infinite couch, chilling out. If you have no clue what this game is, it is the sequel to The Binding of Isaac, called The Binding of Isaac Rebirth. It essentially takes what was a Flash game that was incredible, called The Binding of Isaac, and puts it in its own engine, um, and greatly expands on the content. If you enjoy uh, this type of gameplay, you know, very reminiscent of the first Zelda, and you like roguelikes, I can't really recommend it enough. It's probably one of the best games you'll ever get. And I'm hoping it goes on some kind of crazy sale with the Steam holiday sale. <clears throat> Yo, I don't know if, if anyone, you know, maybe like Moose, possibly my resident Binding of Isaac Knowledge Fountain is down, but could could you tell me what the card, the tower does, please? I'd appreciate it. Oh, so the tower basically mimics the effect of the uh, Anarchist Cookbook. So Batum says, I just realized if you only listen to the game audio, it sounds kind of dirty. It sounds disgusting to a degree that like I was playing this game while hanging out with my... Uh, friend Anandi and she couldn't see the screen she could just hear the audio and she was like what the fuck is that and I was like oh it's just this game okay now I'm ready Lazarus v Famine. So this is the first time I fought one of the four horsemen. Uh, you only get four horsemen after you've beaten Mom one time. And they're some of the tougher bosses in the game. And some of my favorites. I like war especially, but... <clears throat> I have to be so close to shit with this uh, type of tier that kind of sucks. It's forcing me to like melee, basically. Whoop. Don't fuck up. Alright, so I unlocked the Book of Revelations. Ball of bandages. It's an orbital, but I'm not sure what it does beyond that. <clears throat> uh, I'm going to be down one health going down the level, but that's okay. Lazarus has two lives, so he's kind of cheap.
Edmund is a little obsessed with gross shit, says uh, Stair Joe. Yeah. He's definitely got that Ren and Stimpy, you know, Bob Camp kind of gross out vibe going on, but I dig it. I'm pretty gross myself. I think, honestly, and this is going to sound maybe egotistical, but you understand the game, The Binding of Isaac, a lot more if you're from the South. Are there any Southerners chilling on the infinite couch tonight who could agree with that? That if you are from the South, The Binding of Isaac makes a lot more sense? Or is that just me? Yo, I really need to get better at avoiding getting hit. That's like so critical in Isaac. You kind of have to focus your eyes on two places at the same time. It's like, it's like a skill that you relearn, but it takes a little while to get back into it. Kind of weird. All right, so the mirror is pretty cool. I have boomerang tears. But my range is so low, it literally, like, doesn't really do anything for me. Pretty funny. <laughs> wow, what a room. <clears throat> I don't think I can bomb through these solid ones. Alright, got to use the same strat here. Something good? Let's see. <clears throat> Alright, two soul hearts. That's pretty good. Room isn't too bad. <clears throat> These jumping enemies are like literally right out of Zelda. There's actually this exact enemy in Zelda. <clears throat> My Lazarus looks like a fucking lost pug. He's even got a little ball and a fly. Look at him. It's like a adoption shelter pug right here. Bomber says Edmund is from California. That may be so, but I still think people from the South maybe understand this game more because it like reminds them of their own childhood, you know? Yo, this could be worth it. I would need one, two bombs, I think, to get over to that one and possibly get my bombs back. I think I'm going to go for it. Oh, damn, you know what? Uh, please be worth it. That's pretty worth it. And I unlock Mr. Mega, so... So I should be able to get to this with this, right? Stick this right here. You know, it'll be safer to do it there, right? Yeah, well, that ended up being worth. Definitely. It might even be worth to come over here and do this. Bazinga, complete worth in every regard. So worth, I can taste it. How are we doing uh, on the stream tonight, guys? Uh, how's the game to voice balance? How's the broadcast looking? Is everybody sufficiently tantalized?
389 says playing some Chilzik. You got it, man. I really wanted to show you guys um, Arma 3 Overpock tonight on uh, Arma 3 Trenaris. But the download is way too big, so I don't think I'll be able to do it till tomorrow or maybe even Sunday. So I figured, I, I looked in my heart, I was like, what do I want to do? And I was like, I think I want to do a shitload of Isaac runs, so here we are. I really have not put any time into Rebirth at all, so this is really awesome. I'm finally getting to like sit down and check it out. I'm using Lazarus right now because I unlocked them on my last run. And uh, Lazarus has an extra life, just like in the Bible. Sebatum says, video quality is alright. Gameplay quality, not so much. Yo, man. We can't all be MLG, okay? We can't all be Cobalt Streak. Cobalt Streak, by the way, is an incredible Isaac streamer uh, from Tennessee, so he's a fellow Southerner. Uh, definitely check out Cobalt if you want to see some high-level gameplay. And another really great dude is uh, Richard Hammer, who streams with Cobalt a lot. Both those dudes, I've learned so much about Isaac from them. If you're looking for a chill experience... You probably want to come to the O Show. If you're looking for top tier Isaac gameplay, go check those fellas out. I think the only top tier gameplay I can really ever present is in Daisy and Arma. I'm pretty good at that. Can I get him in the loot? Let's see. Nah, uh, hang on. Calm down. Here we go. Ah! Follow daddy. Follow daddy. <clears throat> That's fine too. Come on. Follow daddy. Ah! Yeah, man. Follow daddy. I wanted to get him in that, oh shit, loop where he just follows you, but I almost took out the boss without getting hit. I'm not that pro tier yet, regrettably. Alright, Wooden Spoon, got some speed up. What a fucked up build this is, <laughs> like, <laughs> this is like, kind of ridiculous. Alright, I think a uh, secret room is probably, I think it's above the treasure room. I have a feel. I think it's right here. I was wrong. I got a little bit of an excess of bombs though, so I think I'm willing to try this room. Come on! Three coins. Um, perhaps not worth, but <clears throat> what are you gonna do? Yo, peace out, Moose. Get some rest, man. I've been trying to sleep more myself recently. It's good for you. What is in here? Hmm. Yeah, I don't need shit. And I've got 27 coins. Let's go. Blow each other up. No. Those guys with their Ipecac shots are bastards. But not as big of a bastard as Wall Spiders, my fucking mortal nemesis. Especially with this build, because I have such short range. T 
do a bit of drugs. All right. So it swapped my bombs and my keys, which were equal. So, <laughs> so now I have two bombs and two keys, where before I had two bombs and two keys. What a trippy room. Like the shore of doom. I like it though. Even though it kind of is a bastard of a room. Still aesthetically enjoyable. Interesting, no monsters in that room, just the uh, turrets. <clears throat> Bomber asked, did everyone get their holiday shopping done? Me and Bean, like like I was saying, I didn't really grow up celebrating Christmas, and Bean and I just kind of like casually exchange gifts. Like, I think she's going to get me something, and I usually get her a little something or like do something for her, so... Shouldn't get too into the materialist side, you know? It's not really about that. It's about like appreciating your family and shit like that. Not about getting cool toys. In my experience, like heartfelt, like handmade gifts and things like that always are so much nicer to get than like some random bullshit from the store. Wow. I guess I should just stay at close range like that and then dodge them when they're small. Probably seems smarter. Wow, what a... What a room. <laughs> My lord. Some grumpy spiders up in here, I swear. Alright, I definitely want to shop though, for sure. Uh. Yep. I have no idea what this is, I'm buying it. The jar, save your life. Does that give me yet another life? Am I running on three lives here right now. That's pretty hype. Pump it. There we go. The mic might have a little bit of a crackle, or there's actually a sound in the music that sounds like a crackle. It could be that. But the mic is being a little bastard, so... Oh, nice. You can store extra hearts in the jar. That's fucking awesome. Mm. Curse the short ass range. It's killing me. Uh, I think I want to look around on the floor a little bit. At least maybe pick up some health or some shit. I don't know. At least get the item room.
Wah! Yo! This is actually pretty trippy. Tonight, I've gotten two astrological signs on runs. The first astrological sign I got was Capricorn, which is my girlfriend. And then I just got Aries, which is my astrological sign. Isn't that cool? How coincidental, right? Out of all the options, those are the two I get. I have no idea what the Aries does. I know what the tower does, I know what the jar does. What does Aries do? Does it just make you incredibly charming and beautiful? It seems like these horns are like immune to damage or something. Ah! My fucking health, dude. Jeez. Hook a brother up with some hearts out here. Ooh. Ouchie. Thanks, Lazarus, for coming back to life with one heart. We'll see how this goes. Let's see how this shit goes. Alright, some kind of soul hearting contraption would be very... No. We're dead. Rip Lazarus. Bomber says Aries increases your speed. Okay. And it makes you look very cool as well. And you can ram dudes. Awesome. Thanks, Alan Watts. Well, that's a pretty, you know, this is all right run. All right run. Rests in pepperonis, Lazarus. That music, the holy shit. All right, uh. I'm down to try another Lazarus run. Look at that beautiful little ginger. All right, we get a curse of the loss right off the bat, which means no map for you. That's a good pill to start with though. <laughs> what a wily little bastard running around all over the place. Take that. Bomb for key is actually uh, not too bad of a trade if it comes down to it. These guys in a big room are kind of annoying. Uh. 
No. Given. <laughs> I'm really bad at hit avoidance right now. I think part of it might be how hungry I am. I'm trying to decide if I'm going to cut the stream soon and eat or try to take a long break and make some food. I know it sucks to have to wait while I eat, so I usually just turn the stream off. Alright, so we got a buddy. I'm not sure what the leech does. I'm gonna assume that it can hit enemies and then give me health from it. That'd be pretty cool. That's exactly what the leech does, as long as you get it in range. Get him. Yeah! Yo, leech, you're my new friend. Get him, leech. Wow, Leech is amazing. Alright, well after this run, I'm definitely going to have to eat something, for sure, for sure, for sure. I'm starving to death. Uh, when I have Curse of the Lost, I usually just try to go down as fast as possible to the next floor, but... Yeah, I might as well. Ah, the gurglings are some motherfuckers. Damn, these guys are tough. I'm sure it's just a question of getting the pattern down, but they have so many things going for them at once. They've got aggro flies, toxic floor, and a charge attack. Once you get it down to one, it's not so bad. Alright, we got mom's undies on. Lovely. Ooh, going down with one heart. This is going to be interesting. Uh -oh. oh, fuck! Alright. Tell you what, homies, I gotta shove some food in the hole. Thanks for hanging out some on the Infinite Couch tonight. Uh, I don't think the stream is over quite yet. I'm just gonna take a break to try to eat some food real quick. Uh, I'm really hungry. Hope you guys are enjoying the grinding of Isaac. I'm not very good at the game, but I really like it, so... 
We're turning some children into sausage tonight. I'm going to shove calories in my face and then uh, be back with some more Isaac runs. I might have to head out and go pick up my girlfriend from work. I might not. I don't know. She's really bad about letting me know. So uh, hopefully she'll let me know here pretty soon during the break as well. Be back in a couple minutes.
Holy shit, I was hungry. Thank you for your patience while I ate motherfucking pizza. Um, is the mic currently possessed by demons? Infinite couch, yes or no? Demons in the microphone. No demons. Awesome. Thank you, guys. Nothing too crazy going on on the O Show tonight. Mostly just, uh, to be real with you, killing some time with this huge download I've got to uh, set up Overpock for Arma 3. <laughs> it's all good. I expect it to be a pretty long download, but not quite as long as it's turning out to be. So I figured... I haven't really taken an opportunity to dive into Rebirth since it came out. Um, so we are grinding up some little kids tonight in my quest to get better, to get the fabled good uh, at Isaac. I got a mom kill earlier, so the first one on my save file. And now I'm just kind of fucking around with some Lazarus runs. Who knows, just taking it easy, relaxing here on Friday, my favorite day of the week. Big ups to everybody chilling out on the infinite couch tonight. Get back into some Isaac. I kind of want to get a Lazarus mama kill. But I think I should take Isaac all the way down, actually. You know? Because killing mom the first time isn't actually beating the game. You kill mom the first time to beat, like, the tutorial, basically. <laughs> Yo, you better give me a bomb back, that's all I'm saying. Oh, speed down. Say la vie. I hate these guys. What penny? Oh shit. What does the butt penny do? I wonder if it makes you have a chance to expel gas every time you pick up a coin.
I'm so bad at hit avoidance and rebirth. It's like a problem. What was that? The big fan? So I have a big slow orbital now. That's pretty cool. Yo, seat belts. What a great name. Thanks for following the channel, man. That does help us get a little bit closer to unlocking Chivo number two, so I definitely appreciate it. Ah. Pheromones, no idea what that does. Looks like the butt penny does give you a chance to fart every time you pick up a coin. Very classy. What's up, Rafin? It's good, Spruce. How y'all doing? Yeah, man, it is the O Show. Just uh, chilling, grinding out some Isaac runs, chasing after, you know, getting good at the game. It's very clear that I'm very bad, so the only way to get better is practice. My damage is so bad, like a joke. I'm gonna die on this boss. Fuck. Usually when our viewers jump up like that, it's cause somebody actually has linked the channel. I suspect someone did that. Wow, I'm really bad at rebirth. It's like embarrassing almost. Really bad. Really bad. Take a drink of my water here. I have like ultimate cotton mouth. Like a new level of cotton mouth. Raven says, Smite sent us over again. Big ups to Smite. Thanks, sir. See, I told y'all. I know how this stream shit works. We're just hanging out. Doing some very casual, very slow pace rebirth runs. Talk about life in general. Uh, later this weekend, I'm definitely going to be showing off Arma 3... Overpock Chinaris. That's what I'm trying to download right now, but it wasn't going to be done in time for the stream, so I decided I haven't spent time with Rebirth, so let's do it. Now, a lot of people would just go ahead and restart, you know, because he got Curse of the Loss, but not me. I'm going to work with it. Smite, what were you streaming earlier today, man? I've been live for like four hours, so... If it was within that time span, I have no idea.
Smite says I was being overwhelmed by a 4X game called Endless Legend. Actually, uh, I think I know what game you're talking about. That game looks really good. I'll have to check out the VOD of you playing it. I don't think I've ever seen anybody play it. I love 4X, man. Uh, are any of you guys excited for Elite Dangerous? That game looks amazing. I would love to get some motherfuckers together for Elite Dangerous. I mean, I know something awful almost always has some shit going on, but I don't know. In my opinion, goons can be pretty obnoxious sometimes. So I tend to like not always do the, the goon hive mind in games. So. Might be nice to get a little chill Elite Dangerous group going. Part of the skill in Isaac is really getting good at like, I shouldn't have taken any damage in this room, but I took half a heart, you know? Little things like that add up over your run. It's kind of the difference between someone who's good and someone who's not. Hey friends. Yo, that's pretty dirty to put one of the fires that shoots at you in a location that you can't put it out unless you have spectral tears. Pretty dirty. <laughs> Alright, I definitely want to at least get my item room on this floor, so let me hunt for it. Yo, since we have some of Smite's folks in here, let's do another comparison. In uh, Rebirth, you can turn on the filter to make it look more like original Isaac. <laughs> Tell me what you all think of the filter. Does anyone think this looks better? <laughs> I'll play with it for a while. I personally really like the pixelated look, but I like to turn on the filter from time to time to compare. What do you guys chilling on the infinite couch think? Oh fuck. I fucked myself. Sorry though, I got that heart. Wait, where was it? <laughs> curse you, curse of the loss. Alright, it looks like there's kind of some derision. Some people hate the filter. Some people really like the filter. Uh, I think for me, I kind of prefer the pixelated. I think the filter looks really bad on screens like that. Like the menus, but to each their own, you know? I'm glad they put the option in. I think that's really cool. They don't force you to do one way or the other. Ooh. 
so bad at Isaac. So bad. Alright, time to play some more Jezbol. <laughs> In my opinion, like... To consistently be good at Isaac, you need to get good at not taking any damage on the first floor. And I'm definitely way too rusty to be that good right now. <laughs> so the runs are interesting, but we're kind of piecing them together. You gotta surgically take out your dress balls here. Very critical. What a great reward. Smite says, ready for an Isaac race. Uh, honestly, down the road, yeah. Right now, it would be a joke. Right now, it'd be like racing like a little, little like a little kid, you know? You'd have to like on purpose slow down so that I didn't feel too bad about myself. All right, is this technology? Technology two. Whoa, is tech two really good? I think I remember tech two being really good. Could be wrong. The hell of an item room for the first floor. See, I'm glad I waited through all that shit to get the tech too, you know? Mazo has it right. Devo is ready for an Isaac walk, or perhaps a limp. Smite says that floor one is the best time to get tech two. I've actually seen that in Isaac runs when Cobalt it gets it later on and it totally fucks him. Another dingle. The game's taunting me. Well, you know, the DPS is low, but as long as I manage to consistently dodge his projectiles, I think we'll be okay. Don't charge me, bro. Oh, fuck. No, 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 no. No chargey. Please. No, no. Yo, I don't even know how to deal with the charge. I wonder if there's some strat. Some pro strat I'm unaware of. Ooh, shit fuck. I guess you just have to kind of predict if he's going to go high or low and dodge it. Wow, my health is really low. Shot speed and damage up. The damage up helps a lot, but my health fucking sucks. Wow. Well, this run is going to be pretty short. Move perpendicular to him as he charges. Says Spruce and Smite says you can hide behind the duty. Word up. I'll try to do that next time. Ooh, I love to gamble, but I'm so poor right now. Maybe later. Oh shit. My tech seems to have pretty high damage, so if I can get some health back, I might be able to salvage this run. Actually, you know what, like, it might be worth it to pop in the arcade just to try to get some health back, even though I only have seven coins. You feel me? Oh, man. What has better odds of giving me health? What are y'all chilling on the infinite couch think? Should I... 
does the slot machine have better odds of giving me hearts? Or does the uh, three shell Monty guy? Sergio says Isaac looks like he's ready to terminate. Yo, with the clawed up face, he does look a lot like uh, the Terminator in T2. Yo, Koze, you're a genius. I do have three bombs. I am going to bomb the blood bank. That is a great move. All right, we get a soul heart out of that one. Good call, good call. You blow up the bomb. Uh, does that have better odds than actually playing the game? Do some moves there. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. I'll take that. You're a bastard. Come on. I'll just hit them both. Fuck it. Come on. Don't do this to me. Art. Whatever. There we go. And you know, for old time's sake. Come on. 48 hour energy, two batteries, nice. If I get an item, that could be pretty good. All right, that arcade went all right. Ooh, the damage is still pretty bad. Some damage up would really help this technology with the penalty to damage. The range and the ability to just like fucking drag it over stuff is pretty incredible, but that damage is awful. I felt so smart just now, I remembered to take advantage of my invulnerability frames after I took a hit. And just like rammed into the remaining little fly. See, I'm remembering how to play, kinda. Alright, there's a secret rock up there. I probably want to bomb. Yeah, yeah. Hook it up, hook it up. Alright, yeah. Soul heart and my bomb back. I guess the damage isn't that bad, it's just some of the larger enemies that have more HP, it takes an eternity. But these guys works pretty well. Maybe they have lower HP or some shit, I don't know. Yo, this is a tiny floor, yeah. I do love the animation for uh, technology. All the, the new graphical updates to Rebirth are fucking just choice. Yo, can someone advise me what this is? Is this like a shop I have to bomb into right here? I don't think I've ever seen this before. Anyone on the infinite couch know what the fuck this is?
Jose says, it's even cooler if you get homing tiers of technology. Oh shit, does the beam like curve? That'd be amazing. Takes two bombs to get in. Alright. That's like the two key door. Cool. Hope you guys are having a laid back Friday night, man. It is the Osho. Just grinding out some Isaac runs, trying to get good at the game again. I was once alright at Isaac. I know I can do it again. If you've never checked out Rebirth, this is a good opportunity because I'm taking it pretty slow. We got a lot of friendly people chilling who are more than happy to answer your questions. As the title says, we're just grinding up some children into delicious sausage this evening. Telepathy for dummies. Speaking of homing shots, so this will give me homing shots for the duration of the room I use it in. I'm definitely going to pop my telepathy for dummies on the boss. Alright, I only have one bomb. And I only have one coin, so I don't think that two bomb shop is going to be worth it. Um, I'm tempted to try to look for a secret room. I'm going to see if the secret room's below this shop. I'm going to go for the guess. Nada. Alright, I bet it's over here then. That's okay. Can't be 100% correct, you know? Rafen says, that room can be your Isaac's bedroom or a dice room. Awesome. So it's the exact same room pool as the two key door then? Fucking gurglings. I'm terrible at these. Look at that! Oh my god! How amazing is that shit, guys? Alright. Technology and homing synergy is incredible. Fully agree. That's definitely my favorite synergy I've seen in the game. Purple laser beam that curls around. It was hitting both gurglings. That was... Holy shit. That was amazing. That HP up. Ooh, and it gives you a full health. Damn. Damn. Celebratory laser blast everywhere. Time to trade some of these hearts to the devil. Ah, oh, no opportunity, eh? Yo, the devil gave me these pills. They must be good. Ah. Oh. It just made my hearts fall out. That was weird. Hematasis is what that said. Damn, homing tears and technology gruntified is probably my favorite synergy. That was that was like life changing. Look at the it's like bugged out though. You can't see my tech anymore. I just have a laser eye. Motherfuckers. Now this is a time where some damage would be nice. If you're listening, Isaac. But I can use this telepathy for dummies pretty often, which should help a bit. Like right now. Fucking bastards. You can get away from me. Because it recharges every two rooms, so... Come on, damage. So this is a... A two-room recharge airstrike. Definitely not as good as telepathy for dummies, in my opinion. With the current synergy we got going. <laughs> 